Hello, property nomads. Hope you are doing well. Very interesting news coming out of the budget, especially if you're looking to do planning applications. The reason for this is what the Chancellor has decided to do is a, and I quote, prompt service or your money back promise. And that is to encourage councils to approve more planning applications because what the government are apparently finding, and I'm sure what's been reported back to them, is that there's a lot of issues when you go through planning. So if you're doing something that doesn't involve permitted development rights, where you know that element is quite relatively straightforward in comparison to a full planning application, what they're being told is, you know, that things are taking time, it's very slow, there's always pushback. And, you know, sometimes I think we all wonder how stuff actually gets done in the country. But what he's decided to do is to say that in an attempt to cut the time it takes for major planning applications to be granted, if they're granted by the local council, then um, he will allow the authorities themselves to recover the full costs of major business, major business planning applications if they meet guaranteed faster timelines. So what's the aim of this? It's to speed up the planning process because I think everyone's uh, astutely aware that we need to increase the supply of housing. We need to build more houses. We need to convert more houses, et cetera, et cetera. And by councils deliberating too much on, on every single planning decision by the sounds of it, uh, you know, the councils are basically getting in the way. So it's a way to incentivize the councils to get much as much through the system as humanly possible. The interesting uh, carrot and stick approach. So if everything's approved and everything's fine, council can claim the cost back. So it's, you know, it's, it's absolutely fine for them. But if they fail, with all the timelines and bits and bobs like that, then the businesses will be refunded in full and have their planning application process done for free. So that I find that an, a very interesting carrot and stick approach. Uh, will that lead to more things being done? Or we really don't know. As we said before, the one of the big challenges that we have is that it's okay for whoever's in charge to say, you know, this is a housing policy, this is what we're looking to do, this is how we're going to move forward. Um, then to then delegate a lot of that to councils, what the government's saying and what local councils do, sometimes are two completely different things. And ultimately, you know, we need a more unified approach countrywide in order to make a bigger difference moving forward. Now, I'm not saying we need to go communist and be like China. If you look at the way that the Chinese are thinking in the long run and they are doing, you know, the Belt and Road Initiative and you know, all sorts of things, uh, they, they get stuff done in China without a shadow of a doubt. And it's not always perfect. And there are different ways of doing things. We understand that. Uh, you know, the times that we've been to, to China, it's um, stark different stark difference to how we do things uh, sometimes we, we we just dilly dally too much and don't get things done we need to get more things done so by having a more nationwide approach hopefully hopefully means that we can increase uh, the supply of housing or at least try and make a dent in it moving forward we'll see we just we'll find out what happens but a very interesting carrot and stick approach here from the chancellor when it comes down to uh, planning applications and dealing with local councils we'll see if that makes a difference who knows uh, thank you for listening to property nomads uh, if you could do us a very small favor please please subscribe to the youtube channel we've noticed in the last few weeks we've having quite a significant increase in subscriber numbers because we're doing more calls to action but more importantly you are subscribing and you're also telling more people uh, about the channel, about the show, uh, and it's really helping uh, us to get our message out. And it's going to help us get, you know, even more guests and so forth moving forward. So massive thank you for that. Do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.